Hi guys, as the Tories are facing a loss at best and complete annihilation at worst, the rhetoric seems to be that they need to win as many seats as possible to, and I quote, hold the government to account. Is this some sort of strange attempt to gaslight the public to convince them that Parliament still works? We've seen over the last number of years that opposition parties can't hold the government to account. Amber Rudd here, a former Home Secretary, explains that this election will be an immigration one and that the Tories need to win seats in order to hold Labour to account. Yeah. Uh, you know what it's like to be a politician in a sticky moment. I do. Um, how do you think Mel Stride and his colleagues will be able to pull things around because things do look very bleak for the Conservatives, don't they? They do look very difficult. And I think that Mel handled that incredibly well. Um, it's been a very difficult few weeks. And there's only one thing I do agree with Nigel about, which is that uh, you just have to look at the polls. It's clearly going to be a Labour victory. And I think that a lot of Conservatives and Conservative voters are saying we need a strong opposition. Um, don't let them have a landslide. Make sure there's a strong opposition and we can be the ones to do that. So vote for the Conservative candidate you know. But that's interesting you say that because you were in the Cabinet during that huge like, turnaround time in 2017 when the things completely changed in the course of a few weeks. But you would think that is just not possible. It doesn't feel like that. I mean, it feels like that. The 2017 when the, we, you're absolutely right, we went from sort of something like 17 points ahead down to neck and neck. Um, that was about the campaign. And the campaign that Labour are leading at the moment appears to be very strong. There's one other thing I would say, having listened to the interview with Nigel Farage, mm -hmm. is that in politics, it is very easy to make announcements. Mm -hmm. It is all about the delivery. And Nigel Farage goes around making these extraordinary announcements and he has no idea how to deliver. And the example of that I would give is that the whole Brexit campaign was about immigration. Vote for Brexit so we can curtail immigration. On and on it went. And actually, immigration has continued to increase eight years after we voted. It's not about making policy statements. It's about delivery. And that's why people need to vote for MPs who can actually do that or hold the people giving delivery to account. Just before I bring Matt in, I just want to check, are you going to vote Conservative? Absolutely. I always vote Conservative, but I, I, particularly because I have a very good local MP who I want to make sure who's Conservative is re-elected to hold the Labour government to account. I just thought I had... Oh, my goodness. OK. You can't hold the government to account if the government has a massive majority. We've seen it with Boris Johnson. We've seen it since 2014. When the Tories had a majority, were the Labour Party able to hold them to account? No. Was the SNP able to hold them to account? No. Was the, were the Liberal Democrats able to hold them to account? Of course not. So this is a ridiculous rhetoric. Yeah, we need to have a significant number of Tories in Parliament in order to hold the, to hold the Labour government to account. When Boris Johnson won his 80-seat majority, when members of his own party tried to hold him to account over Brexit, what happened? They were kicked out of the party. So if your own party can't hold you to account, then how the hell can the opposition hold you to account? It's ridiculous rhetoric. It's rid Once again, was she, can was she saying we need to have more Labour MPs in order to hold the Tories to account? No. It's like we, it's this foot footballification. My team, once my team is in, I will support my team. doesn't matter what my team do. I'll vote according to what my team want, generally. There are some rebellions, of course. But this is not about holding the government to account. It's about power. The, the ERG were not interested in holding Boris Johnson or, or Theresa May to account. It was about power. We want more power in the Conservative Party, in Parliament. Did they vote with the opposition? Sometimes, but it's generally in order to get some concession. Once again, it's not about holding the government to account. This is ridiculous. We've seen so many examples of the Conservatives running roughshod over Parliament because they had an 80-seat majority. Now, that was whittled down because they weren't able to operate correctly. But if Labour win a massive majority, you won't be able to hold them to account. It's impossible. Now, the only way the Labour government can be held to account will be by MPs in the Labour Party, some of them forming factions, like what happened with the Conservatives. That's how they will be held to account. If the SNP ha managed to get some Labour MPs to back amend amendments or uh, policies, bills or whatever, 
the Liberal Democrats the same. If they're able to convince members of the Labour Party to join them against the government, that would be holding the government to account. But the Conservatives will not be interested in doing that. The, the Conservatives only care about power. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.